Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be talking about quick tips to improve your motivation. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm super happy to have you here. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our weekly videos on mental health related topics and helpful coping skills for you to apply in your own everyday lives. My name is Gabriel Arroyo, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist located in Southern California. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about quick tips to improve your motivation. So one of the biggest things uh, related to depression or anxiety is we just have a, a drop and decrease in motivation. And even if you're not within that realm of depression or anxiety, these are still helpful tips of how you can improve and increase your overall motivation to accomplish what you want to achieve. So the first tip is make your goals small and attainable. So we want our goals uh, not, not to be our, our end goal or our Z, our huge goal. We want to decrease them to something that's manageable and we could accomplish right now. So for example, if I'm trying to say set a goal to work out every day of the week, which is for me going to be practically impossible because I'm just lazy. I don't want to do that, especially on my days off. So I, I don't want to set that big of a goal because I'm already going to talk myself out of it. And then if I don't achieve that goal, I'm going to start feeling more down. I'm going to, if I was feeling depressed, it's going to spiral into more depression. I'm going to feel like a failure because I couldn't accomplish that goal. And I don't want to set myself up for failure. I want to set myself up for success. So I'm going to make them small, measurable, and attainable goals. So the first goal I would do is probably just, uh, put on my gym clothes and then see how I feel. And then I check in with that goal and then I see what I'm going to, going to do next. So wherever you are on that spectrum, as far as what's going to be attainable for you, set that as your first goal. So once again, setting them small and attainable. The second tip is celebrate every success. So no matter how small or big the goal is, I want you to cheerlead yourself so that way we're creating that positive momentum and positive encouragement to create more momentum and motivation. So if I set my small goal, as far as my workout goal goes, so if I spent, set the small goal of putting down my workout clothes and then I achieve it, I'm gonna celebrate it. I'm gonna make it a big deal. I'm going to pump myself up and say, I did it, right? So once again, I'm creating that, that positive momentum and motivation to keep going within my goals. The final tip is creating positive rewards within your goals. So I set up my, my motivation and my goals with some end goal in mind uh, to achieve something. So if we're, if we're using the workout routine again, I'm gonna set my goal up to where I could do something after I've achieved my overall goal. So if I set the small goal that's attainable to put on my workout clothes, and then I keep going goal after goal, and I'm celebrating, pumping myself up for that positive momentum, my end result is going to be whatever success that I wanted. So if I'm trying to lose weight, I am going to pump that into my head, that positive reward at the end, or if I was going to do my cheat day, so I went out, worked out, I did it, I accomplished it, yay, I deserve a cheat day, I'm going to set up my reward being something that I, I really want. So however this is going to look for you, so depending on where you're at as far as your goals go, if you are experiencing depression, anxiety, the biggest thing is with depression and anxiety is we're lacking motivation. We just don't wanna do the things even though we know they're gonna make us feel good. Me, I love Disneyland. I, I've said that plenty of times on the channel. I'm a big Disney fan. And if I am in a funk or if I was depressed, I'm not gonna to wanna to drive out to Disneyland. I'm gonna create every excuse in the book to not go. Even though I know that's my happy place, I'm gonna feel super positive there. I'm gonna talk myself out of it. I'm gonna say, oh, it's too far. There's gonna to be too much traffic. Uh, there's gonna be reservations I have to deal with, all the COVID restrictions, uh, X, Y, or Z, and I'm gonna talk myself out of it. Versus if I make those small attainable goals, okay, I'm gonna go online, check my reservation status. Okay, I got that goal. So I'm gonna pump myself up, I'm gonna celebrate it. And then the next goal, I'm gonna get in my car, I'm gonna drive and so on and so on. Finally, I'm at Disneyland to overall get that reward and that positive momentum to achieve my goals. I'd love to hear from you guys of 
what you do to help increase your motivation, comment below with any questions or examples that you have. And once again, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our weekly videos on mental health related topics and helpful coping skills for reply in your own everyday lives. Thank you.